Here is Theo's try catch pattern summarized. Consider a function that randomly decides to throw an error. For half of the times, it will return a random number, but for the other half, it will return an error too large. Since the TypeScript's type system doesn't track errors, as far as it is concerned, this function always returns a number, which means in order to invoke it safely, you need to put it in a try catch. And that leaves you with another problem. How do you use the result outside of the try catch? And these are the problems that the try catch utility is designed to solve. We define the result to be a union of one of two types. It'll either be success of type T or it'll be failure of type E. If it is success, then it will only have the data member of type T and error of type null. And if it is failure, then data will be null and error will be of type E. And then we have this try catch utility that takes two generic parameters T and E. It accepts an input promise of type T and then returns the result, which means that it will either be a success of T or failure of E. The body of the function is a simple try catch. Within the try, if you manage to successfully await the promise, then you will get back data and no error. Otherwise, within the catch, data will be null and we assume that the error will be of type E. And that's the extent of this utility. You can also copy it from the link in the description. Now let's see it in practice by applying this to our do math function. We pass the promise returned by do math into the try catch utility, which means that we will eventually get back an object that either contains the data property with error null or it will contain error with data null. Since we haven't narrowed down the type of error yet, at this point TypeScript assumes that data might either contain the data or it will be null. But if we handle the case where error is not null and choose to do something like an early return, then any place where error is null, TypeScript will automatically narrow the type of data to exclude that null value. I'll wrap up with my personal thoughts. I think it's a great utility to handle bad code, but I don't throw errors in my code and instead use union types to return error objects, which is something that I also discussed in our clean code course. So I won't be rushing to replace any of my code, but it might be useful for you. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.